Hello, hello. I feel like I have to be quiet. I don't know why I feel like I have to be quiet. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hi, thanks for the hearts, everyone. Oh my gosh, I put on like a light lipstick and it looks like I'm dying. <laughs> I know it's been so long. Hey. Hi, everyone. I don't know why I feel like I have to be quiet. I feel like I'm whispering. Hey, Tammy. Hi, happy Monday. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I have a fun topic for you guys today. Um, I got a text message from a friend of mine who, um, she, yay, thanks for the hearts, everybody. So I'm wearing my, my, um, gamma rays. I haven't worn these in a long time and I'm like wondering if my eyes are suffering. <laughs> hey, how are you? Goodness. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to say that I'll be was periscoping more, but I feel like I keep promising that and it keeps not happening. I'm being a bad periscope person. Um, but I just, ha I just really got a cool idea for a topic and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I get this question, um, a lot from friends too. <laughs> you can do it. We forgive you. So I get this fresh, this question a lot from friends because, um, I feel like clients probably feel too embarrassed to ask me this. <laughs> Although clients do ask me this a lot. Um, but ever since we started, we've always worked with creative professionals. And so a lot of people are designers also. And so a lot of people always ask us the question is if, can I design the site and you code it? Because there's a lot more designers than there are web coders out there, right? Website coders. So like I get this question all the time, um, from like kind of like more of an abstract point of view, not like really necessarily a client, but someone asking if we even do that. And, um, I guess to answer the question, yes, we do, but um, on, on a very like specific case by case basis, and there's kind of reasons for that. Um, but basically, I want to give you the advice, the flat advice that I would give a friend, because it's a little bit different than the advice I would give a potential client. A potential client, a lot of times, it's really hard to design a website. So like. We're already off the bat. I usually try to say no because they really need someone professional to design their website and they're just trying to cut cut costs and save money. So usually my answer is no, trust us, like let's go. <laughs> Wanting to hand it off to someone to code. So number two, if you're really ready to take honest feedback from the, the for, oh, thanks for inviting people. Yeah. <laughs> so number two, if you're really ready for honest feedback, because some of my clients, people that I do trust to design their own website, they'll bring us the files and I'll say, okay, I'll code this as long as you understand that I'm going to give you my honest feedback. Because a lot of times people don't understand web design. It doesn't directly correlate with print design. It doesn't work the same way. People don't use websites the same way. Um, and there's a lot of usability things that, that my clients might not be thinking about when they're designing something. Or sometimes people will just send me like a, uh, Photoshop mock-up of something and, and I'll give them honest feedback. I'll say, this looks great, but remember, people aren't going to use it this way or having this button here doesn't make sense or blah, 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 blah. Like, so make sure that you're ready to take honest feedback from your programmer in order to go, okay, like I understand they know more about how people use a website than, than I do. And I'm ready for that honest feedback. And I'm okay with changing my design to fit, to make sure that the functionality is really a hundred percent top notch. Cause that's all really, that really matters. Right. Um, that, I mean, not all that matters, but if it could be a beautiful design, if it doesn't function and people are, are clicking off of it, then it doesn't matter how beautiful the design is. Right. So be willing to take honest feedback from a programmer and have them let you know if something's working or not. So that's my number two. And number three, um, my number three tip on maybe, maybe you're ready to design your site, your own site is if you really, if you realistically have the time to do it. Okay. So this is not a quick and easy process. It never will be. <laughs> I don't care how many programs come out there. Um, when you're d developing a website, it takes time and it takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of thinking little details through that you never thought about before. So you're going to have to think about every single page. You're going to have to think about all the functionality on every single page. And, and honestly, some of you guys do not have the time to do it. And I think that you're stressing yourself out and you're taking on way too much work by doing it yourself. Um, honestly, <laughs> like even if you can do it, doesn't mean you should do it on always. Right. Um, it's kind of like kind of that way with a lot of things in business, just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. Um, I try, but I didn't just have a time. Exactly. I've heard the story. That's why I'm not making these points up. I'm, this is literally stuff that I've dealt with, um, with friends and with clients. So if you realistically have the time to do it, to design it, do you currently have a package for coding and feedback? I don't. Um, but that's a good question. Um, email me and we'll talk about it. I don't really, cause I, cause it's a very case by case basis. It has to, I have to make sure it'll work for everyone. 
Um, I spent hours and got nowhere. Yeah. So if you so sometimes if you don't have the time to do it, it's gonna you're gonna automatically sink your own project, and then you're gonna you know it's it's worth hiring somebody just to get it done at that point, <laughs> right? Because if you never do it, if you're never gonna do it, and you're never never gonna get around to doing it, then you, it's never gonna get done. Um, so you could even you could be honest, ready for honest feedback. You could know what you really want, but you still don't have the time. Then that's gonna kind of shut you down right there. So those are the three tips that I say that you're probably ready for a website. Um, to, to ready to design your own website, I mean, um, if you know what you really want, you're ready to take honest feedback from your coder about it, about functionality and how it's working and if it's not working and not take it personally. <laughs> um, and then three, if you realistically have the time to get it done, because a lot of times we want to take everything on ourselves to save money, to save, I don't know, whatever energy, to, to not have to, to hold on to control because we don't want to give up control to someone else. Um, yeah, exactly. But you, honestly, you might not have the time to do it. So you might love, love doing it, but you just need to pull someone in else someone else in to help you kind of get through that process so does that make sense you guys um, like I said in the beginning if you are just a, a total stationary designer or paper designer or brand designer you don't necessarily have the tools to do a really great job job at it with that said I have seen people that have done a really good job but it just takes a little bit of knowledge of web and how people use web and functionality oh good um, and it takes those things to, to really think about there's all these things that you don't think about, right? Like we think about designing pretty stuff and making it represent us, but there's all there's a whole other side to it about you know how how it works, how it functions. Is it telling the story? Is it correctly you know saying all those things we want to say? Is it giving people what they want to know? What do people want to know, right? There's all these little things that kind of go into it, and so it's not as easy as it seems always, but it's totally doable. And I don't want to make it sound like you can't do it and that no one's capable of doing it because it's not. It's just not the truth, and it's not reality, right? Um, some people can totally design their own sites and then take it to a programmer, but those are the things that you just need to know. So I hope that was helpful, you guys, today. Um, sorry for this. Sorry, but I felt like this message was too important to <laughs> who cares about makeup, right? Um, well, I don't know. Some, uh, Of course we care about makeup, but still, I feel like this message was, was uh, more imp important to get out and to help people than um, me putting on some makeup today. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get back to work. You guys have a wonderful rest of your, what's today? Is it Monday? Oh my gosh, it's only Monday. How I've got a lot of, lot of things done already. <laughs> oh gosh, thanks guys. Um, yeah, it's a short it's a short week for me, so I feel like a lot is packed into today. Yay, and do more scopes. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the hearts. You guys, the hearts have just been like exploding today. Thank you so much for that. And um, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you guys just ju just jumped in, make sure you watch the replay, and you can give me hearts on the replay too, or share it feel free to share it out to your friend that's trying to design her own website <laughs> all right bye guys